Well, um, it's war. They declared it. War of the Protestant League. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to EU4. I am King Kong Veal, and I'm back here reigning as the king of the Antrian Kingdom and the emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. The so last episode, we made some pretty good progress. Uh, Italy was expanded. Spain was expanded. I forced converted some people, which I think pretty much everyone has since converted back. Yeah, it looks like most, if not all of them, have. I have started losing imperial authority and as you can see the religious leagues have formed and on the protestant side the only ones i'm really worried about the only one i'm really worried about is the ottomans and their 300,000 troops that they currently have so i think today my objective is to well continue expanding into italy continue expanding into Iberia, I just started annexing Scotland, so that's going to happen as well, and maybe fight the League War, but we'll see if that happens, and other than that, I guess just continue building up uh, buildings, developing my empire, working on getting more money, teching up, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll just go from there and see what happens. Here's Admin Tech 15. Uh, it's about eight years ahead of time. So this gives me soldiers' houses, which I need some of those for one of my missions. Ah, okay. I misunderstood. I needed either barracks or soldiers' house. I thought I needed both. Uh, so I just need one more province that has a fort and a barracks or or a soldier's house. So let's go ahead and do that. Go. They, uh, barracks there. I should be able to get that. No problem. Well, this is unfortunate. Uh, with this, I lose a stab and one of my provinces changes religion. Great. That, uh, barracks is done, so I'm able to get, uh, expand the army. Gives me local dev cost, local garrison size, and local fort maintenance minus 75%. Up to five owned provinces that have a fort. And a manpower increasing building. Okay. My king died. Alright. I must not steer away from the Pope. Pretty good ruler. Better than the one I just had. And a pretty solid heir as well. Alright, let's summon the diet, because I need to do one more of the... I'm going to be subjugating Liege. Well, um, it's war. They declared it. The war of the Protestant League has fired. Okay, it's getting real now. Let's get after it. Alright, I'm going to get the Blessed Ruler for the Morale of Army. And I'm also going to proclaim Holy War for the Mank Power Recovery Speed and Land Maintenance Modifier. And I'll get the Stability at back up to 2, I guess. We have a World War on our hands. This is going to be massive, it's going to be bloody, it's going to be brutal. Alright, here are the uh, participants in the League War. It is a lot. My side and the Protestant side. And a lot of that's the Ottomans. A lot of this, these troops are the Ottomans. I mean, Ottomans have 123,000. They have almost half of the infantry. I have about half of the army in general. <laughs> I gotta mess up the Ottomans and get them out quick. Alright, there's one. Gelray's out. Let's force religion. What money we can. One down. Alright, I think I need another army. 25, 4, and 10. Alright, Aachen done. Force religion. Money done. Alright, hungry, hungry's starting to struggle. I really need to uh, relieve them before the Ottomans 
get too much. Alright, there's one victory against Ottomans. Ooh, oh, no. Oh, I just got stack wiped. Alright, I can get Miltek 15. Awesome. I'm the first to do that. Alright, that should be a Hamburg out. Go. Bedfordshire Symposium National Unrest. Alright, that's... Alright. Yeah, let's get another army up. It'll take me over force limit. That's fine. I've got plenty of money. I can always get rid of it after the war. Oh, <laughs> huh, you know what? I could probably get Spain out. Didn't even... I forgot they were here. Forgot they were involved in the war. <laughs> they won't even take a white piece. Nope. Alright. We can keep them in for a while. I really need to go relieve Austria n or yeah, Austria now. Let's send a bunch of my troops down. Uh, the Teutonic Order's out. That's the first one on my side to, to be pieced out. That's uh, good. Alright, and there is Brunswick out. Horse Religion, bunch of money. Alright, that is Castile out. Just a little bit of war reps. They're already Catholic, so... Alright, I need a debate in Parliament. I just realized I am out of manpower. Which makes me want to do this land attrition. Go. Alright, I can get two Sicilies out. War reps, money, trade power. And let's uh, also take Uka. Why not? Because I can't. That's why not. Alright, so now I can get that. And Coalition is just Tuscany, two Sicilies, and Switzerland, so who cares? Alright, the war is looking uh, a lot less scary now. We really don't have that many people left. Bohemia, Brandenburg, Lubbock, Magdeburg, Mecklenburg, Ottomans, and Saxony. Like, half of them up here are fully occupied. Anyway. Let's really the Ottomans. Alright, I just won a massive war. They outnumbered me like 120, 130 to 90. Or massive battle, rather. Big win. Big win there. You know, the scary thing about the Ottomans is they just are so good at getting more troops. I mean, they still have 89,000 manpower. Well, I've got zero. I've, oh, shoot, I've got negative 123,000 manpower. <laughs> uh Alright, Lubbock wants a peace deal. Will they give me what I want? Not quite. And all I want is them to change religion. <clears throat> but not quite. Almost there. What about Saxony? Will they change religion? Nope, not quite. Ah, but Madberg's out. Force religion. Money. War reps. Ooh, boost to war exhaustion. Yay! Oh man, I cannot force convert Brandenburg. War score is only is 103. Oh man. Well, I can force convert Lubbock now. Can I get war reps? Can I get any money? A little bit. Alright, that's Diplotech 15. Awesome. Alright, so... What I'm going to do with Brandenburg is I'm going to make him return Newmark to the Teutonic Order and this province to Madenburg. I'm going to take Money War Reps Trade Power and this will get the Force Religion down under 100%, down to 83%. So if need be, I can do it in another war against them. Let's go ahead and piece them out. All right, there's Saxony out finally. Force religion. Take the tiny little bit of money I can. And demands. So now it's literally just Bohemia and the Ottomans. Actually, there's still a bunch of uh, heretic princes that I'm gonna have to convert. Yeah, there's 19 heretic princes still. I'm gonna have to convert. I think what I might do here... I don't know, I'm trying to decide what to do with the Ottomans. I've basically gotten mostly done. 61%. I'd love to have Constantinople. 
And this would give me the entire Thrace state. I want to get war reps. I want to get all their money. Not quite done with them yet. I think I'm going to take that. I'm just not sure if I'm going to keep it for myself. Or if I'm going to release Byzantium. And maybe Bulgaria. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. Another possibility. Instead of taking all of those, I can make them release Egypt. Release this islet. But that would be the entire war score. That would be a hundred war score. So, I don't know. University of Kent. I can enlarge the university and get some innovativeness. Or I can gain one stability. What's my innovativeness at? At 86% or 86.7 already out of 100. I mean, nice, but I don't want to lose the money. But I mean, I've got plenty of money. Let's do that. And I can get stability from the Pope. Bloody Mary. Alright, so. Let's see. So, if I go with this side, I'll. Best get a uh, ruler with 15 total. Um, it'll give me 16. So, yeah, let's go with that. And I inherited Italy. That's not ideal. I uh, wanted to try to feed them. I inherited Spain as well. Oh. Well, uh, neither of those are ideal. I was hoping to feed more of these Italy and Iberia to, you know, Spain and Italy, respectively. I probably could get some more from uh, the Ottomans. I, I, in fact, I know I could. But I was looking around and, I don't know, I'm not really seeing anything that I really want. Let's just end it. Alright, and that should be the end of the war the Protestant League. So, religious supremacy. Check. Force religion on Bohemia. Check. And what money I can. There we go. Alright. And do it. The Emperor Triumphant. The war of the religion of the and the Empire has ended in total victory for the Emperor and the Imperial Parliament has convened a diet to proclaim Catholicism as the sole confessional faith of the Holy Roman Empire. Electors who follow a different confession will be stripped of their privileges. The Emperor will be given broad authority to force Catho Catholic unity within the Empire. Uh, long live the Emperor! Yeah. There we go. War of the Protestant League. Look at all those people. Defenders, that was it. The attackers, that was massive. Let's see, almost 2 million dead. 1.1 million on my side. And 0 .8, 6, 0 0.8 million on theirs. Yeah, just under 2 million dead in this war. Let's see what I can do about uh, changing these religions. Alright, Switzerland... Force religious unity. Full house won't. Nassau will. They won't. They don't like me at all. Uh, let's improve relations with them. Bill and force religion. Alright, uh, looks like that might be about all that I'll be able to do. Force religious unity. Ah, uh, the Teutonic Order. Alright, and I'll need to improve relations with a bunch of people. And force on the rest of them. Alright, there's only nine heretic princes now, but I need two more electors. Who do I want? Maybe Munich and Mecklenburg? Yeah, got several in the central. But one in the south, one in the north? Sure, we'll do that. Alright, there we go. I'm gaining uh, a decent amount of authority. Imperial authority again. I'll keep trying to convert those nine heretic princes. Oh yeah, I still need to vassalize Liege. I guess let's go to war. I can purchase an ability. That one maybe. Alright, I got rid of a bunch of troops, so I'm now under my 
army force limit, but I'm still way over <laughs> naval force limit. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Since I'm um, annexed Spain, I got their colonies. Alright, I can enforce religion on Pomerania. Awesome. Alright, can force religion on Brandenburg. Tier... what? 8? Tier 8. No, tier 9. Tier 9 government reform. We'll uh, do this one here. This... The 6th Livre de la République. Alright, that's peace with Tunis. Uh, I can enforce religion on Frankfurt. Right, that's Cleves. Let's force religion. Make money. You know, I don't care about Bremen. Let's just go ahead and do the peace deal. My vassal. Give me your money. No risk of coalition. I don't know if this is the smartest thing in the world to do. But I think I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to release Spain and Italy. Mainly so I can feed Iberia and Italy to them. I mean, hopefully they'll get exploration and expansion and they can keep colonizing. But I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. I'll just have to wait and see. They do. The exploration and expansion. Okay. And then let's do the same for Italy. There we go. I am going to get a flagship. I'm going to get uh, trade power, movement speed, and fleet morale. Yeah, we'll do that. And we're back up to 11 heretic princes. Why didn't those go away? <laughs> I want them to go away. Keep converting my guys back. All that time converting them. Now they're going back. Alright, I'm finally back in the positive in manpower. <laughs> Barely, but I am. And I uh, get yearly legitimacy at the Oxford Symposium. Alright, now that I'm not overextended anymore, I uh, can get the next uh, reform. I can actually go any route. Um, I think I want to try to get this one as quickly as possible. Get those, then we'll get those, and then that maybe? I don't know, we'll see. But we'll start with this one. Alright, so I think I'm going to go to war with the three leagues. Because they are Protestant. And some of their allies. Aachen is reformed. Bremen is Protestant. Ulm is reformed. Regensburg is is reformed, and Mulhouse is reformed. So if I go to war with the three leagues, it is a free city. That's so gonna hurt my stability, but I'll get them all. Yeah, let's do it. I'll get my stability back up quickly enough. And there's admin tech 16, which I mean, I could use my admin points to uh, dab up, but now let's get admin tech 16 instead. And there's diplotech 16. Alright, so that is Aachen out. Force religion, your money. And that is also Regensburg out. Alright, that's Mulhas Mulhouse out. Religion money. Alright, that is Bremen out. Same thing, religion, money. And that is Ulm out. Gone. Ah, the uh, center of reformation here is gone. Now, I only have that one to deal with. Let's see what I can do about that. Alright, so my truce is up with them in eight years. Hopefully they won't do too much damage in those eight years and I'll... Uh, then be able to convert them and hopefully get rid of that center of reformation. I won't have to deal with them for the next 60, well, next 50 years after that. All right, that should finally be the three leagues out. Religion, money, gone. So that leaves us, leaves me with just six 
Heretic Princes. Well, six. Again. Sorry, that leaves us with five. I needed it to refresh. We've got Bohemia, who will convert in eight years. Constance. Imingen. Nuremberg. And Dortmund. Okay. Not too bad. Getting there. Almost stamped out the uh, Protestant Reformation. I just realized something. Bohemia and the two Sicilies are allied. I wonder would Bohemia come in? They would. But I don't have a truce. I, have, I have a truce with the Sicilies as well. Alright, there's Miltech 16. And I gain four innovativeness. Oh, nope. Almost to 100. Alright, next uh, age ability. Sure. Alright, so my truce with the two Sicilies ended. Which means I might be able to force convert Bohemia in this war. While I take some stuff from two Sicilies, of course. So, I think I'm gonna... Declare war. Oh, they're transferring trade power to me. Alright, well let's wait. Hopefully they'll cancel that. Actually, I can cancel it. So in a month, I will go to war with them. Alright, so it is April 19th. Uh, my diplomat's back, and I can now dare declare war. So I can't enforce religion on them through this war. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to piece them out real quick. White piece. So, in five years, I'll be able to go get them again. Alright, I can already piece out Bohemia, which will shorten the peace treaty by a couple of months. Uh, Portugal's fighting in Africa again. Uh, Portugal did the first circumnavigation. I think I'm going to go with the cheaper advisory cost, monthly autonomy change, and uh, reform progress growth. There we go. Alright, I'm going to summon the diet and hope I get a good nobility one. Uh, Perth has a training field. I can do that. Get a training field up in Perth. There it is. Alright, so that was my fifth nobility agenda. So I can do the Realm of Chivalry and give the effect. I get uh, court patronage. Gives me prestige decay minus 2% and prestige from land battles. Plus 50% until the end of the game. Nice. Court of Mary. All gaze on in wonder at the splendor of Empress Mary's court. Widely seen as the most lavish in Europe. European capital of good taste, fashion, and chivalry. Mary has patronized all of the fine arts, commissioning tapestry, playing host to the Burgundian school of composers, collecting considerable number of manuscripts, and hosting many talented painters. Her court also hosts to the Order of the Golden Fleece, as many a jousting tournament has been held in her lands. Long may it continue. And with that, I can also get claim the Emperor title. Uh, so I get the Anglo-Franco Anglo -Franco Imperium, which is eventual war score cost minus 5%. Nice. And the name of our country adjusts dynamically to our government and rank. And the Angevin Realm boom. country name will change to the Angevin Empire. Boom. Nice. Alright, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get everything I want here. Yeah, it would take a whole lot. So let's just try to take what I can. is isn't much. I got Cadiz and Vizcaya. Money. A little bit. Yeah, let's just go ahead and do that. And go ahead and end this war. And snake up here. That's a big coalition. Really big. Well, actually it's really not that big. Um, it probably won't even form. Uh, it definitely won't fire. Maybe we just do that instead. Uh, I want to cut off the, uh, the Pope. I'm not worried about that coalition. Alright, with that, I have completed the reign in Italy, which gives me 10 permanent power projection, which is amazing. 100 prestige, which will give me a bunch of uh, monarch points. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Two years, just under two years, I can go to war with Bohemia and uh, try to get rid of 
at Center of Reformation. Then I can work on uh, converting everyone back. I can actually do for three people already. All right, and that leaves me back with five heretic princes. It's getting there. Getting there. Slowly, but it's getting there. All right, so I got a royal marriage with Saxony, and that was enough to get me an alliance with them in a month. I uh, will now be allied with all of the electors, right, like that. All right, so there's my truce with Bohemia. Must declare war for the religious unity CB. All right, there we go. Let's all right, Bedfordshire Symposium. I get national unrest minus one for ten years. For five years, sorry. Portugal's without an heir. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to request, request a relative as heir. And uh, try to get my, um, my line on their throne. And hopefully, potentially, get a personal union with them. All right, that is two Sicilies. Be 100%, 99. These are expensive. I guess let's just go with those two. That'll work. All right, the Elizabethan era. Ooh, I get a 665 as ruler. I mean, 446 is solid. That's a good ruler. A 665. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yep. Yeah. Yep, we gotta do it. Uh, we must not steer away from the Pope. Emperor is dead. Long live the Emperor. Elizabeth has been uh, elected as Emperor. That got me 10 more reform, or uh, authority. Awesome. Alright, that finally does it. I'm not going to worry about sieging this all the way down. I can force religion. Maybe it will convert to Catholic. Uh, I can take some money, do the peace. Alright, so I do only have four heretic princes now. Which are going to be difficult because they are all free cities. Alright, it is January 1st, 1600. We have global trade. Spawned. Awesome. And my province. I thought that was my province. Uh, that's fantastic news. This changes everything. I gain 100 admin, diplo, and mill points, 20 prestige, 25 government reform, and Holland gets uh, trade power boost. Awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use all these points that I've got to uh, develop and spread global trade. Uh, that's going to be the a wrap on this episode, though. Oh, we did a whole lot this time. Um, we became the Antrivan Empire. We inherited Spain and Italy. We were re-released Spain and Italy. Italy grew a lot. Spain grew some. I ought to help them with the uh, rebels that they're having. We had the War of the Protestant League which I won very resoundingly, including being able to take uh, some from the Ottomans, including Constantinople. I have basically all but eliminated the Reformation. I still can't get rid of this Center of Reformation. Kind of really annoys me, but we were able to pass one reform, and we're well on our way to passing our second. And uh, yeah, things are going pretty well, I would say. So next time, keep working through these reforms, these three here and those two there. I keep expanding Italy and Castile, and I'll probably start expanding more in the Balkans and maybe up here into Poland. You know, sneak my way up around. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Fighting the, the League War was actually a lot of fun. It wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought, even with the Ottomans coming in. Uh, if you had fun and enjoyed it, make sure you come back for some of my other episodes. Uh, in the future, I'll be doing another uh, EU4 episode in two weeks. And uh, check out some of my other playthroughs. I've got a couple other games that I'm playing um, that I think you might enjoy. So 
without further ado, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, however much of it is left, and I will catch you all next time. Take care, everyone. Bye.